welcome to our first day in Tokyo. This is some. Oh, this is how it feels to be free. <laughs> um, we are heading out to have breakfast. The weather is so nice. It's around what, 18 degrees? No. Yeah. Not yet. Not yet. It's like 15 degrees, but it's nice and. I'm enjoying not going around with a stroller, having to feed my, myself only, not having to worry about anybody else, so it's nice. Babe. Where this going? Uh, that one. Just a regular one. Just this one. We get our tickets here after, so have takeout. <sighs> <laughs> We're finally eating after a 30 minute wait. No, it's longer, like 40. Mm. Hey, here's yours. Okay, that was super good super filling it was very basic um ramen but it had so much flavor you can actually like make it templa to the kind that you like but i think if there's a tip that i would give is either go super early or go after lunch because the line is crazy we waited for like 40 minutes but worth it okay gp's first stop hi hi this is where GP goes, all the sneaker stores. So this is the only thing I'm getting in GU. Hey, you this is the entrance of Don Quixote. Here we go. Every time I would go here before, I'd bring the stroller with the kids and they would rush me, but now I get to enjoy Donkey. So this is the Don Quixote in Shibuya and there are seven floors of basically everything. Okay, where do we begin? These are just eyebrow pencils and mascara. Whoa. This is the famous Shibuya Crossing. We are here in Tataya Bookstore on the second floor. There's a nice view of the Shibuya Crossing. I was telling GP to take my video in the Shibuya Crossing, but then I have a idea. But anyway, I'm gonna go get um, like hot chocolate or something and see what the specialty here is in Starbucks. This is the famous Sakura drink for this season. Let's try it. The guy recommended this. He said he had it twice Sakura today. Frappe. Yeah, so I got convinced. It's pretty good. It's crunchy and then there's like jello and I don't think it's caffeinated. <laughs> Okay, so this is the new area. This is the Miyashita Park. Um, it looks like an old train station, but they said it's not. They just made it look like one, so we're gonna go explore it. This is the south, and this is the north side, which is all north, high end. All the way here, there's nothing here, remember? We yeah. We walked here, and then we just, this would, this is boarded up, and we would walk all the way here. Yeah, now it's done, and this is the mall. Another sneaker store. Okay, so we went around Shibuya today. We were supposed to go to Harajuku, but we got so tired. We just went around all the new areas, Miyashita Park, the Shibuya Stream, Shibuya Scramble. And now we're heading to a really, really, really good restaurant. It's called Yoriniku. In the center, we have the beef sashimi, tartar, and we'll be serving the butter toast later. today because we want to go try the gyu ka motomora basta katsu <laughs> this is a place that we've been seeing all the time and 
a place that we've been wanting to try. So now we are going early so we can line up and see if it's worth the hype. I miss the kids. Ah! I'm so happy. And the weather again is perfect. It's so nice and there's cherry blossoms in some trees already. I know in New Yogi Park somebody messaged that the cherry blossoms are out. So it's early this year. But well, we got here early and now it's opening in about 10 minutes. Look at the line, it's crazy. What's there? So we are getting this. So inside, there are only about like eight seats. So we're here, lining up. I'm sitting down. Hi. Hi. Okay, so we waited one hour to eat here. And this restaurant has been highly recommended by a lot of people. And all they serve here is yukaku. Gyukatsu. Yukatsu. 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 Beef. Fish as well. Like a katsu don. Yeah. So katsu. Yeah, but so it's instead of pork, it's pork. Yeah, this is their specialty. Okay, this is a set meal we got. So they serve it raw. Do you know how to eat yukatsu? How to eat cow. Super. So what's your comment, babe? This is super good. Super sharp, right? It's <laughs> worth the hour. That was like one of the best meals I've had in Tokyo aside from what we had yesterday. Oh, this was so good. I mean, we waited for an hour, but it was totally worth it. So if I were you, come over like 45 minutes and you'll get a seat right when it opens because there's only like eight to nine seats yeah today we're gonna go to harajuku and buy gp's running shoes because i haven't run yet today i mean this trip. yeah usually in every trip he runs but i guess because he's with me and he forgot shoes we're going to harajuku this is my kind of store <laughs> There's GP. Oh my gosh, we are on a sneaker hunt. Whoa, look at that. Today's dunk price. Okay, this is sneaker heaven. Oh my gosh, so much. Okay, so I'm not really into buying sneakers, but I ended up buying. I've been looking for the sneakers like everywhere in Hong Kong and I found it in one store. Uh, this is the one. This is our restaurant. We're eating it. Okay, so we're having we're eating again. I feel like this trip is gonna be like a food vlog talaga. Like where to eat in Tokyo because today all we did was go to sneaker stores and I gave in and he's giving in also new balance. <laughs> But all we did was eat, and this restaurant is called Beef Oh No. Like, Beef Oh No, No, No. no. <laughs> we found this restaurant before we were walking down around Harajuku. We discovered this like seven years ago, and then we keep coming back. We're very much satisfied every time we're here. Look at my belly. That's like half food, baby. Half meat, baby. Hey, day three for us here in Tokyo, and yesterday we just went sneaker shopping. Want sneakers? <laughs> Today we're going to Rapongi Hills and Shinjuku. We haven't been to Rapongi in like eight years, so we wanted to check it out. We wanted to go around and see, and my goodness, it's super cold today. It's the coldest day. I think it's around seven degrees. Okay, we are trying this ramen in Rapongi Hills. Hey, this is their famous ramen. GP got the regular. What do you think? It's very spicy. It's very citrusy. I don't know. This is a very unique ramen. I've never even tried anything like this. Do you like yours? No. It's not a bad. It's not it's bad. It's not a bad. It's actually a good meal. It's a good it's meal. It's just but... not one of my top ramen. Yeah. I was hoping to like look for that ramen flavor that I'm used to, but then you get something else. I guess this is good if you want to experiment with your ramen. 
and go for something different but it's good to try once in your life but I don't know if I'm gonna go back What do you think? How are you doing? <laughs> It's an octopus ball. That's the restaurant we ate in. It was super sarap. It's called Yana, Yamabe. Okay, so I'm gonna put down the information down below because it's kind of hard to find. There's no, like, it's just like a real hole in the wall. There's no English, like, logo or anything. It's just, it just looks like a house with Chinese characters inside. And when you go inside, he you can't take, yeah, he only cooks one thing. That old guy, the old guy there, he only cooks one thing. And I think that's how it is when it comes, when it's uh, like mga Japanese, right? they just specialize in like one thing and they do it really, really well. And this was like one of the best tonkatsu we've ever tried. From generation to generation, yeah. they pass, pass down the, yeah. the recipes and the skill to do it. Sarap, told you this is going to be a food vlog. <laughs> This is our fourth day in Tokyo. Um, we are heading to Daikanyama today. This is around the Shibuya area and it's not, it's a very, very, very nice neighborhood. P and I really enjoy going to this place. There's not a trip in Tokyo where we actually don't visit Daikanyama, um, especially the Daikanyama Tea side, a really nice bookstore, and Ivy Place, which is where we're gonna go eat in now. I miss the kids when I'm here. So cute, you made a happy smiley face. <laughs> this is my food. That's GB's food. GP ran today. How's your run? Good. And this is our So this area is called the Share Lounge. It's like a workplace area. And you have your own little view here. We have books to read and it's for 20,000 yen. There's also different kinds of food. So this side is all English books. We have really a good collection of books here. This is what I wanted to get but the kids didn't like it. 